In this lesson, we will see a first application of algorithmic information dynamics to an abstract area of mathematics, that of graph theory, and also to a major area in science, that of network reconstruction or network reverse engineering. We will use these concepts and at least three papers in direct connection to these applications, but obviously all other papers about uh, CTM and BDM are relevant, including two-dimensional complexity and graph complexity. So you may remember what is the graph spectrum of a graph. It is a list of eigenvalues of its adjacency matrix sorted from largest to smallest. Something very interesting is that the area has very few analytical results and a lot of what is known is mostly empirical. There are some obvious eigenvalues relate, related to very simple cases, such as in the case of uh, the complete graph. In a complete graph, the largest eigenvalue is proportional to the size of the graph, so it basically provides the size of the network because all the entries in the adjacency metrics in a complete graph are one. So it is not difficult to see and even prove how there it can be shown that uh, the largest eigenvalue is related to the number of nodes of a complete graph. But for non-trivial graphs, very little is known about the behavior of the eigenvalues with respect to classes of different graphs. Usually the largest eigenvalue is considered to be the most informative and that's why it is traditionally placed first in the graph spectrum. But not even that is known or true in general and traditionally, the rest of the eigenvalues are ignored, even when the first one is traditionally associated only to the graph size. And so the rest may encode more interesting, interesting features about the graph, but we just disregard them. So one project that we have started, but it is far from being uh, closed, is an investigation of the informative value of different eigenvalues in graph spectra for different gr uh, graph types. That is, this requires an objective measure because we don't know what an eigenvalue is measuring in different graphs. So it is not possible to define a cost function that requires knowing a feature of interest where no feature of interest in the graph or the eigenvalue is known or identified, let alone uh, their association or relationship. So this is an obvious application of algorithmic information dynamics because we want to compare each eigenvalue to the algorithmic content of the graph in order to find which one is capturing most of the graph properties. And to do this, we can evolve uh, graphs. So as I said, in graph spectral theory, traditionally only the first eigenvalue is considered or uh, kept. Another option is um, that is also very uh, fr frequent is to take all eigenvalues to have the same informative uh, value or the same uh, weight. However, we know that they capture different features for different graphs. Um, one way to study eigenvalues is uh, therefore to plot them on a space and then make them evolve and take the distance from those eigenvalues to different mutated versions of the same graph and compare against all eigenvalues to see why and how they change and whether they follow the loss or gain in information content after applying a perturbation to the original graph. So these are some of the very first results we have found. First, that largest eigenvalue is not by far the only one highly correlated to the graph complexity, meaning that indeed the other eigenvalues are encoding important content of the original graphs. And so they shouldn't be disregarded um, in principle on, or a priori. Each dot here on the screen is a different graph class. A class can be, for example, to be a Cayley graph, which is a graph with particular algebraic properties that um, have implication in its uh, size of the graph automorphism group to which they belong. And having no symmetries, they tend uh, to be by their own in their own automorphism groups. Another type of graph can be the set of lattices, or another type uh, of graph can be planar graphs, that is, pl uh, graphs whose edges do not cross each other in some embeddings uh, in two dimensions, and so on. So the way we identify the most informative eigenvalue is by performing the perturbation analysis to a graph thereby emulating the changes that a graph can be subject to. And then we track the eigenvalue behavior against the changes of algorithmic probability of the graph. 
and match the eigenvalue that best describes the uh, direction of the evolving trajectory of the graph. More interestingly, we can do the same for different me measures, such as Shannon entropy, and even select a feature of interest and see which eigenvalue matches the Shannon entropy change for that feature relative to the change of algorithmic content of the graph, and so on, maximizing the ways to, to characterize a graph by different measures relative to uh, the behavior of different eigenvalues. So this approach is very rich because it puts together many areas, just as we like to do with algorithmic information dynamics. In particular, it combines alge algebraic and spectral graph theory, perturbation analysis, algorithmic complexity, uh, information theory, and uh, dynamical systems. In another application of algorithmic information dynamics to graphs and networks, different to the study of graph spectra, is the eva evaluation of methods that are used to reconstruct networks representing events happening among objects, such as genes, to reconstruct um, genetic regulatory networks. The area of network reconstruction is very large and dozens of methods exist, but little has been done to find ways to evaluate these methods with other than very simplistic measures. Here is for example a pipeline that we suggested to evaluate how much of the original algorithmic information content of a network represented by data was preserved by different um, algorithms uh, reconstructing those networks and how to compare, the, compare each other to, to um, different techniques, including a reduction methods such as graph spectra itself and motive profile analysis using various assessing methods, including, uh, for example, lossless compression and, of course, BDM. One approach suggested by algorithmic information dynamics is simply to evaluate how good a network reconstruction algorithm can be at capturing the algorithmic information content of the original network. So here we did it for five of the best and most popular algorithms for network reconstruction um, on different graph uh, topologies. And one can also see which parameters are uh, best or can be optimized uh, when reconstructing a network um, in order to keep or lose uh, information such as edges and then find an optimal cut of value, um, sometimes or even always necessary uh, when using popular network reconstruction algorithms. So a similar assessment based on algorithmic complexity can be performed. In the next lesson, we will see how to actually analyze this type of gene regulatory networks that are often the result of applying these reconstruction methods, but can also be derived or validated by performing actual in-material experiments.